So today we're going to start a science topic, which as we know is about space. So again, the same as when we start any topics, we're going to do a mind map. I think we're going to have four categories. I think we're going to have a category called sum, a category called moon. Let's have green a bit longer for earth. And then let's have planets. Should we have planets? So again, this is a mind map of what you know, what's in your mind. At the end of the topic, just like we did for the World War II one, we'll go back to this mind map, see what we knew at the beginning, and then see what we know at the end of the topic. And hopefully we'll add more. So this is just what you know. So there might be, you might be thinking, I don't really know a lot about space, or you might be thinking, I know lots. So for me, I'm thinking, well, what do I know about the sun? I know that it's a gas ball. It's a giant ball of gas. There are some obvious things. So the sun obviously gives us light. It's daytime now, and it gives us heat. So I know that. And I know that when I see the sun here, it's the day. Again, you might know the size of the sun. You might know the distance of the sun from the earth. Any of those things, what you know, you're going to put down. Now the moon. What do I know about the moon? Hmm, I've seen Wallace and Gromit, but I don't think it's made of cheese. But I know there are craters. And I think that you can get eclipses, eclipses of the moon. And I'm not, we normally see the moon at night, although sometimes you can see it during the day. Now, again, you might, oh, I'll tell you what else I know, just thinking about linking it to our English. Who do I know that's walked on the moon? I know that Neil Armstrong walked on the moon you might know some other astronauts so earth well hopefully earth we know a bit about we know that it's the only planet at the moment in our solar system that we know as life so only planet with life we know that we have seasons, don't we? We know that the weather changes on the Earth, and that's probably something to do with where it is in relation to the sun, and we'll hopefully we'll find that out. It's also, now you might have heard of this, it's in the Goldilocks zone. If you don't know what that is, you could look that in. But it's to do with Goldilocks and it being just right where the Earth is from everything else for life to happen. Now, planets. I wonder what planets you can name in our solar system. So Mars, we know Mars. And again, you might know some facts about Mars. What type of planet is Mars? How big is it? How far is it from Earth? Um, let me think, Venus, that's another planet. So I'm going to leave it there. So you need at least four categories, Mars, Earth, Moon and Sun. You might want to make another arm um, in your mind map with another colour for other information. We're thinking about our space and our solar system, but obviously it's much bigger than that. So I look forward to seeing your space mind maps in our Zoom. Again, remember, this isn't about you researching at the moment. This is just about what do you already know and then hopefully over the weeks we can add to it so this page is full up.